The search for unknown celestial bodies is always subject to a central question. Do natural conditions prevail on the planet in question that would allow the emergence of life? Is it possible to find remains of organisms on the alien world? Or does the celestial body even still harbor extraterrestrial life forms? As is well known, experts have not yet been granted such a galactic milestone and cannot answer these questions with an unequivocal yes. On the subject of suitable basic conditions for the development of life, our blue home planet has always served as a galactic model. Thanks to the natural composition of the Earth and its spatial constellation to the Sun, the earthly fauna has been able to blossom in the past and form the most fascinating branches. But is our home planet really the only celestial body in the universe that has such favorable conditions for life? Amongst the rank of experts, some planets repeatedly come under scientific interest, planets on which we could possibly find comparably life-friendly conditions as on Earth. For more on these potential homes for extraterrestrial life, stay tuned for today's video. Excited about the breathtaking discoveries and spectacles in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to learn more about these exciting topics in the future. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Superhabitable Planet as we mentioned at the beginning, our blue home planet is something like the cosmic ultimate when it comes to the question of the right framework conditions for the development of life. A look at the thousands and thousands of species that have evolved on our planet over the course of time is enough to confirm this thesis. Nevertheless, there are doubts among experts that our earthly home is really at the top of the list of life-friendly planets. Those hypothetical exoplanets that might even be more suitable for the development of life than Earth are called superhabitable planets among experts. Contrary to the widespread thesis, this assumption refers to the fact that not only rocky planets within this zone are habitable, those celestial bodies with even better physiochemical parameters for living beings would therefore have a much more diverse flora and fauna than we find on Earth. As a result of tidal warming, terrestrial and icy celestial bodies could be habitable, even if they are not in the habitable zone of their native systems. In the future, exoplanets will have to be examined for their potential habitability in terms of their position within their system, their spectral class, and their mass, among other characteristics. So far, experts have succeeded in locating 24 potential superhabitable exoplanets. Venus an average temperature of 860 degrees Fahrenheit and a cloud cover of corrosive sulfuric acid. At first glance, it seems that there is no planet more hostile to life than Venus. Nevertheless, some indications have already been discovered in the atmosphere of our sister planet that suggest the realms of Venus could very well serve as a cosmic home for some tiny organisms. For example, the ominous dark spots observed in UV photographs of the planet could be microorganisms in the atmosphere. Indeed, one study provided evidence that those dark spots have spectroscopic features consistent with those of terrestrial microbes and biomolecules. In addition, evidence was detected that Venus may currently be volcanically active. Those emissions emitted as part of the volcanic activity could provide the possible microorganisms in the atmosphere with nutrients necessary for survival. TRAPPIST-1-E Although exploration of the exoplanet TRAPPIST-1e is still in its infancy, it is suspected that life-friendly conditions could prevail on the celestial body in the constellation Aquarius. In more detail, the planet, which is 40 light-years away from us, is located in the habitable zone of its ancestral system. If the right conditions and atmospheric properties exist there, TRAPPIST-1e could host water in a permanently liquid form. However, some more in-depth research is needed to test this exciting theory, for in fact, nothing is currently known about the chemical makeup and hypothetical atmosphere of the planet. Kepler 452b Kepler 452b also orbits its host star at a distance 
that theoretically allows for the existence of water in a permanently liquid form. Consequently, the celestial body discovered in 2015 is also currently on the list of potentially habitable planets. If we compare our Sun with the star that serves as Kepler 452b's galactic fixed point, we quickly notice some striking similarities. According to this, the corresponding glisteningly bright celestial body is only 10% larger than our Sun and only slightly brighter. The exoplanet itself is about 40 to 80% larger in diameter than our terrestrial home. With regard to their orbital periods, however, both celestial bodies have certain parallels. Our neighbor, which is about 1800 light years away, takes only 20 days more than Earth for a complete orbit. Tea Garden Star B the red dwarf, T Garden Star, is located just 12 light years from our home solar system. A few years ago, experts managed to identify several exoplanets in the realms of this star, of which T Garden Star B is the innermost representative. The investigation so far suggests that it is a rocky planet with about 1.05 the mass of the Earth. Because of its spatial position relative to its host star, scientists also believe it's possible that the surface of the celestial body is graced by a liquid ocean. Since the exoplanet's host star appears relatively inactive and quiet, it doesn't emit hostile flares. The chances that Teagarden star B could be habitable increase. Kepler 1638b with an intrinsic mass of 4.16 Earth masses, the exoplanet Kepler-1638b joins the ranks of so-called super-Earths. Contrary to what you might think at first, this designation refers exclusively to the mass of a planet and gives no information about its surface condition. However, it's known that Kepler-1638b orbits its cosmic fixed point, a star of spectral class G, within the habitable zone. In turn, the exoplanet, discovered in 2016, requires nearly 260 days to complete a full orbit. LHS 1140b Even though the rocky planet LHS 1140b orbits its central star at a comparatively close distance, its orbit is still within the habitable zone of its system. This is due to the fact that the red dwarf star of type M has a rather faint luminosity. So far, we know that the exoplanet in the whale constellation is 1.4 times Earth's diameter and is in a nearly circular orbit. Due to the small distance between the host star and planet, it takes only 25 days for LHS 1140b to completely orbit its red dwarf star. The corresponding star is about 39 light years away from the sun and has only 15% of its mass. In future investigations, scientists hope to gain important insights into the exoplanet's atmosphere and chemical composition. The discovery of certain molecules, such as oxygen, could indicate that biological processes are taking place on the surface of the celestial body. Proxima Centauri b no other known exoplanet is located as close to our blue home planet as Proxima Centauri b. According to this study, only 4.2 light years separate Earth and this planet's namesake central star, Proxima Centauri. This small distance makes it immensely easier for scientists to take a detailed look at our galactic neighbor. We now know that Proxima Centauri b has a mass of 1.17 Earth masses. Due to this circumstance alone, it can be ranked in the list of Earth-similar exoplanets. In contrast to our terrestrial home, however, the celestial body probably has a bound rotation. This means that it always turns one and the same side to its host star. Consequently, it's significantly warmer on the side of the planet that is constantly illuminated by the central star than on the opposite side. Expert calculations yielded the result that the equilibrium temperature of the exoplanet is negative 38 degrees Fahrenheit. However, if Proxima Centauri b has an atmosphere, its surface temperature could be significantly higher due to the greenhouse effect. Combined with the fact that the planet orbits within the habitable zone, the celestial body could therefore carry liquid water. And as we all know, the existence of water in a permanently liquid form represents a significant cornerstone for the development of life. Gliese 667 CC About 22 light years from Earth is the triple star system Gliese 667. This galactic group in the constellation Scorpio consists of two bright orange main-sequence stars of spectral class K and a red dwarf of spectral class M. 
It's the M dwarf that is the most prominent star in the galaxy. It is precisely this M dwarf which serves as the central fixed point for the exoplanet Gliese 667 CC. It takes about 28 days until the planet has completely orbited its host star. Like all other planets presented so far, the orbit of Gliese 667 CC lies in the habitable zone of its galactic home. However, experts can currently only speculate about whether the celestial body actually harbors liquid water. In fact, very little is known about the exact characteristics of the exoplanet. This includes not only the chemical composition of the planet, but also the question of its exact mass. Experts assume in this regard that Gliese 667 CC has at least 3.8 Earth masses. Consequently, this exoplanet is also classified as a super-Earth. Now it's your turn. Which of the presented planets fascinated you the most? Write us your thoughts, your feedback, and your suggestions to today's video here in the comments. Would you like to see more exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then click on one of the images in the credits now to get to the other contributions of our channel. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.